what's inside the magic heating box. My name is Alan Hart and in today's video we're going to cut the magic box up and we're going to look inside. I did do a video recently which was a badly installed Worcester Bosch boiler with this magic box. We removed this magic box and we got the heating working for the customer and I got lots of questions in there asking what's inside this magic box and could I cut it up. So that's what I'm going to do in today's video. If you like my videos, please, if you could, if you could put a thumbs up on the videos, I really appreciate that. And also, if you could put a comment below, again, that really helps with the video. So, what is the magic box? Well, this is a heating box and it's magic. So, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just have a look at components on it. So, if we start with top, we start with auto air vent. Oh, that's what I think it is here. I've just slackened this off just so, just to speak videos up really. But this vent on top, so what's happening here? We had this flow pipe from us boiler, and if you have a look at that other video, it'll show you. But we had this flow pipe from us boiler, goes into here, and then what it's doing is allowing some of the air out of here and out of the auto air vent. Now I just think this is a standard auto air vent. When we look inside. How an air vent works, for anybody who doesn't know, is when there's air in here, the flow will go down and it will open the little pin in there and it will allow the air to come out. As this then fills up with water, that pushes up and it closes the auto air vent inside there. And if we look in there, we can just see it's just a, it's just a, just not a, just a standard auto air vent. So what we'll do, I'll take hot pipes off, I'll drill out rivets out, and then we'll have a we'll have a look inside it. So I've drilled most of the rivets out. Just drill this one out. And then we'll have a look what's on in the top part of it. We're not gonna get a rabbit or jumping out of it. So that's the top of it. So there's some insulation in top of here. So that's not just going to lift out of there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all these connections off. If we, we have a look on this side, this has got the drain off on here. It actually says boiler return. So just, we, just so we don't get confused with that later on, because on the back side here, this also says boiler return. And then we've got us, us other pipes on the side here. Again, I'm going to take these pipes off, I'll take these caps off, and we'll try and slide, try and slide the magic box out of there. So I've took all connections off it now, and the first thought on this was, it'd just be an empty box, but it's actually quite heavy. So, I'm, I'm thinking it might not just be just an empty box, um, but what I'm going to do... Just try and slide this out of here. I don't think I'm going to slide it out. So what I'll do is, I'll just cut it up with grinder. So as you can see there, cut a line in it with grinder. Just take this, take this cover off it. Thick, some really thick insulation on it. So I've cut this side off with grinder and then I've just broken I've just broken the insulation. So if you see there it's what 25 mil, something like that maybe. And what have we got? We've got steel or some sort of metal box. So, I'll tell you something, this, it weighs an absolute ton. I don't know about cutting through this, it might be a... It might take some cutting through, to be honest. So, 
So I've removed all the insulation off it now and I've also cut, cut a section out on back. So I've cut a full section out. When we look at the metal on it, it's very, very thick. So to be fair to the product, it has been well made. It's been, it's a thick metal box and it's got the insulation on it. But what you've been waiting for, what's actually inside? Oh. And it, yeah, it's heavy. But that's what's inside your yeah, magic box. And as you can see there, it's just an open, it's just an open box. On our particular job, personally, my opinion, this was absolutely pointless. The house was a small house. And yeah, I just think that whoever sold that product to them hasn't sold them the right product. Personally, that's my opinion. Um, please put your opinion below. Let me know what you think. Please go back and have a look at that other video and have a look at that installation and see what you think. But personally, I don't think they've been sold the right product for that particular job. Please put a comment below as well. Let me know what you think to this product. Personally, it's sort of like what we um, what we expected originally, really. It's just like a low loss header. So in certain scenarios, it will actually work really well. It's very expensive though, and a lot of people, I think a lot of people in the UK have been charged quite a lot of money for these installing. If you've got any stories of people being charged quite a lot of money, again, put a comment below, and yeah, let's have a, let's have a chat about that as well. But what this is doing, it's bringing the, the water in from the boiler, and then it's taking it back out, and it's going back to the boiler in a circuit. That's what it's doing. In this part of it here, then, because it's an open box, it's allowing you to have your tappings. There, so you can have your flow and your return to whatever circuits that you're gonna be using. So for instance, if you've got two zones, you could put two zones on with two pumps on, two separate pumps. So what that would do is, any particular boiler, you can only put a certain flow rate through the boiler. If you put too much flow uh, through the boiler, then it could damage the boiler, damage the heat exchanger. So what this would allow um, the heating system to do, if you like, is you can run it at a higher flow. So for instance, let's say, let's say a pump gives 10 litres a minute um, it don't, but let's say it gives 10 litres a minute through the boiler and the boiler can give 10 litres a minute through it. Well, this might be able to give 100 litres a minute. So what that would mean is you could put a bigger pump on here and a bigger pump on here and you could pump it round the circuit. So for instance, if you've got a, a system where it's quite a big system and radiators are quite far away, then this type of thing could make a difference to the system working or not working. There is um, claims that you will save lots and lots of money as well on your gas bills. I, I, I can't comment on that really. Um, but yeah, put a comment below. Um, I think I've covered everything that I can with this really. If you want to know any more about the magic box, then as I say, put a comment below, ask below, and I'll try my best to to cover it as best as I can. Thanks for watching. What's inside the magic heating box? Ebra Kerbera. As you can see, it's just an empty box.